Hello everybody, my name is Matt. I am a 3D designer. Um, since about like four years I started with uh, 3D printing. And uh, welcome to my basement. Really nice, no? Wait a sec. Oh. Much better, no? Okay, so the reason why I welcome you here to my nice little basement is uh, because of that thing here, a new printer, I uh, got the uh, possibility to test it and actually on the video it doesn't look really big but it's really huge and I just couldn't transfer it somewhere else so we're gonna stay here for this video. Um, about me, I do uh, designs, um, most of them are, are for games and toys and when I started with 3D printing, those all were the first models I, I made for my uh, Settler of Catan version. So I had uh, Prusa i3 then back and uh, I was really impressed how 3D printing works and, and how the machine is able to get your thoughts and what you design on the computer in, into reality. But uh, I always had to paint these things because uh, they come in just one color and my painting skills are, are not the best so uh, yeah that, that was back then what I have had to live with um, after the, the Prusa machine I got uh, Ultimate Maker 2 Plus which is really nice machine in my point of view it has really a, a high level of detail um, I can print with but only one color as well. But back then I was able to make different parts so you can that could be combined together like um, in my design the, the retro mini bob bobsled for winter, winter is coming. So uh, at least you could put different colors together to get like a, a colored model. So and one half year half a year ago I got my uh, Prusa MK2 multi-material upgrade, which is really great. Uh, the first time I could combine several colors and make like my new models, as you can see here, in in different colors, four colors that actually I can print together. So that was a huge step again for me and uh, the technology, which has really evolved in the last uh, last four years, and. This machine here, actually, that's the last step. <laughs> it is capable of printing um, as many colors as you like, as many colors as you can imagine. Um, but it is a beta version I'm testing, and everything I'm going to tell you now is just uh, about the beta version of this printer from XYZ Printing. So. Everything can change, uh, the printer can look different, uh, the software can be different, so it's just that what I can present you today. So let's get started and see what this thing can do. Let me show you its features. So let's get started with checking out the printer. Um, as you can see from, from the outside, it's, uh, it's a closed system. So uh, the heat stays inside the machine and uh, on the right side you can see there is the spool holder, it's a special kind of filament, translucent filament that goes inside uh, the printer and uh, the printhead. We got a nice uh, big display with uh, different features, you can uh, Unload. Uh, you can unload the filament. Uh, you can change it. Then you got some settings for the ink. Um, you can clean it, change the ink, do the calibration, and so on. So the display is really nicely made and, and has a, a lot of features. So for me, that's that's a good point. When we open the printer on the door. I'm gonna have a look inside. 
So on the left side you see the, the four cartridges which are parked actually in this, in this part of the printer. So that's one of the reasons why um, the printer is quite big because it does need uh, space for, for the ink and also the, the print head which is actually behind uh, the ink. I'll show you down there you see the, you see the, the nozzle. Um, it is combined with the ink cartridges and that does need a lot of space to move inside the machine. So uh, that is the reason, one of the reasons why it's, it's quite big at the moment. Um, what else we have? We have the print bed. Um, you can take off uh, the top part of it. It's like it does have magnets on on it, um, so that makes it really easy to take off the print afterwards. Um, the print bed is like I would say 20 to 21 uh, square centimeters uh, big. It's not that big compared with my other printers but uh, for me it's it's really enough and I don't have a problem with that. Um, what is not so nice with the print bed in my point of view is that it's not heated so I, I, I do need uh, blue tape or something or spray to that the print does uh, stay on the on the bed and sometimes I got problems um, with warping uh, from my tiles but actually I don't know, maybe that's something they are going to change. So yeah, actually that's how the printer looks like. Um, now it's turned off, Let's turn it on again. Um, yeah, everything else uh, you're gonna see uh, in the video later when I do a time lapse of, of one of the prints. Okay, so now I showed you some uh, of the parts of the printer, how it does look like and actually um, now I want to tell you something about how the printer works. You're going to see it later, but um, the principle is quite easy. It's like a normal uh, printer, riprap printer combined with ink cartridges, um, you know, maybe from your 2D ink printer. So those are more or less the same cartridges, four colors. And what does the printer do is actually he prints uh, one layer of, uh, of PLA filament and then on top the next layer is going to be with ink. And then filament on top against ink, again ink, filament, ink, filament, so on. So, and uh, the ink is only distributed on the outer parts uh, of, of the model. So, Actually, this one is one of the first prints I did for my Settler of Catan version, colored version, for the Da Vinci printer. And actually it looks really decent and uh, yeah, it was very surprised. I was very surprised about the result and it was really cool. Like I said before, uh, when I got my Prusa MK2 uh, multi-material upgrade, that was a huge step for me. Uh, that I could print different colors in, in the same model as well. And here that uh, is even a step further and uh, I'm really excited what I'm going to do with this printer. So what are the pros and cons? At this moment, as I said, it's still beta version. Um, for me the pros, yeah, of course it's a new technology, new possibilities um, with all these colors um, I can use for my models. Um, what are the cons, in my point of view, is uh, one for sure, it's the heat bed. Um, I mean the bed that is not heated, so um, I do have a lot of flat flat tiles, so the, I got some problems with the warping. And also the ink cartridges, I had have to, you, to clean them a lot, um, but I'm quite sure that uh, XYZ printing is, is going to improve that with the Da Vinci color printer. As I showed you the printer now and uh, what are my thoughts about it, um, actually I want to show you um, how you can create in a very easy way your own colored model um, that we will also print together out with this printer so you can see the result. Um, I decided um, that I want to do to show you uh, a colored version of this retro mini box LED. 
So it's called Retro Mini Bob. So I'm going to try uh, a design which is kind of retro with flames and stuff. So um, I'm going to show you that now and let's go to my computer. Down in my basement, um, I got the design on this uh, USB drive. Um, actually, I don't have Wi-Fi here, so that's why I'm using this little thing. So uh, let's see how it does print out. So that's it for today's video. Um, 
I'm trying to do more videos um, if I find the time for it. Um, if you're interested in the models I made, I'm going to link them down below in the description and uh, also the website from uh, XYZ Printing so you can check out more infos about the printer. And thank you very much for watching. Give me a like and uh, see you soon on the next episode of Map Makes. Bye.